So I meant to drop this video a few days ago, but I've been rather busy working on editorials, album reviews, uh, hip-hop production and such. But I want to take a quick moment to acknowledge the passing of original Iron Maiden vocalist Paul Diano. Now, for those who aren't aware, uh, Paul Diano sang on Iron Maiden's first two albums, the self-titled album and Killers. And if you know anything about the metal community, the Killers album from Iron Maiden is considered a classic of heavy metal. Um, personally, I, I like a few songs on there, but I'm more of a Bruce Dickinson fan of that era of Maiden. But I don't want to get too much into that. My point is, I want to acknowledge the work that Paul Diano did in the band, they wouldn't have been able to enjoy the flourishing of prosperity that they had over the last 40-something years had it not been for what Diano brought to the table in the beginning of the band's inception. Um, so to everyone who was a fan of the self-titled Iron Maiden album and the Killers album during that Diano era, uh, I just want to say that I understand the impact and my condolences for his fans. Um, what I thought was really cool was that Bruce Dickinson took the time, and the entire band really did, but especially the fact that Bruce Dickinson, who was Deano's replacement, took the time to acknowledge his passing and that they were friends and the work that he did for the band. It, it felt so genuine and sincere and nice to see. Because you'd think maybe Adrian Smith or Steve Harris, so one of the members who were actually there when Deanna was in the band, would be the one to deliver this speech. But the fact that Dickinson did it, I thought was really heartfelt and touching. And it didn't seem like one of those obligatory, oh, our past member, past we have to make a statement type of situations. Um... It really felt sincere, and the fact that Dickinson said, we're here to acknowledge the passing of one of our band members, like, they still consider him a part of the band, even after all these years. Even though Dickinson and Deano didn't meet each other until just fairly recently, still, they acknowledged the impact that he had in the beginning of the band, and they still call him a band member and consider him that, and I thought that was very nice. Um... There's not much more I can say here. I will just end this video playing the clip of Maiden addressing Deano. Because our friend, our band member, uh, Paul Deano, passed away, as you're probably aware. And if you're not aware of that fact, you are now. So, Paul was instrumental the first two albums groundbreaking with killers for the first album an amazing voice devoted to rock and roll right up till the last minute of his life so would just like to give maybe for those of you who were born and still remember those early albums when obviously I wasn't in the band as he was. And those of you who were fans of the stuff he did with Battlezone and his own projects afterwards. And for anybody else that fancies having a listen to the tracks like Remember Tomorrow and stuff like that, which are absolutely awesome. I'm just going to ask everybody to just take like a few seconds to just say, Close your eyes in silence and say, just internally, mentally, if you believe in God, if you don't believe in God, it actually doesn't matter. Just believe in what you believe in and just say, thanks, boss, for doing what you did. So, Paul, if you're listening, this is a little message from Minneapolis to wherever you are, upstairs or downstairs, you're having fun. Minneapolis to Paul the Arnold's great